Jumped into Stellar Gold, but before announcing the winners, what do we want to do, Greg? Uh, well, we're going to talk about feedback. Exactly, yeah. because... But you guys thought about Stellar Gold, the yeah. event with the name of an uh, adult entertainer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so then suggestions for the future based on what you guys have said. And then, of course, we will announce the winners for the Stellar Gold for the different servers and also the two lovely uh, dragons. Then we jump into QA, questions and answers by you guys. Yes. And, of course, Raffle and a lot of people probably are very happy. Bonus code as it's well. It's the first one this, this year. Exactly. The first one. Exactly. And I think it's, it's a nice one. So just stay tuned. You only have to watch for one hour until knowing what is inside. Okay. <laughs> uh, the user called Nightpork or whatever your name is, we yeah we all like romantic too, so we understood it. Can you now please stop spamming? Yeah, it? that's okay. it. Okay, that's good. Cool. Ah, and uh, please change the, the super slide as you know as always. There is Tavo running around and making pictures. You know he's quite a famous dude. Uh, so if you see him at the moment, he's in Verian and he's also at Grimad. Mm. So if you go to these servers, maybe you have the chance to see him. And if yeah. you've, um, you know, play with him, then you will get also a lovely parrot, yep. which gives you, I think it was 5% health uh, to your health uh, points. So go and for it. Yeah, but the cool thing is you don't get this parrot anywhere else in the game other than from us. From Mr. Tavo, that's it. Well, and from us. And from us. No. Tavo so sends us a message and we provide. So again, go find him, play with him, and then you get rewarded. Mm -hmm. And uh, off we go. Yeah. Off we go with the interesting stuff uh, that we have, which is so, roadmap. Yes, what we wanted to talk to you about is the roadmap. So, uh, in all matter of transparency, roadmap 2016. So, uh, as you will see on this lovely screen uh, with a nice picture over there, what's next? Uh, we have a bunt, but a bunt. <laughs> a bunt, <laughs> a, a bunty bunt. Nice keywords that we see over there, which are content expansion, guild mm -hmm. balance, alchemy system, PvP, inspection, new class, hot locking, and other convenient features. That's it. Yeah. Quite a what, list. What do we mean by that? Well, well, well. Let's uh, give a, a general statement about what's been happening. So for the last two weeks, me, Haruki, and a bunch of other uh, people in this entire team, we have been uh, sitting and discussing about lots of topics. Mm -hmm. So, including all the topics that you see over there as keywords. Yeah. And why have we been discussing? Because, first of all, in January we, you know, we reworked a little bit of uh, a couple of um, bugs that we had with uh, the releases 158 and 159, and we're still working on that. At the same time, we have a bunch of things that we want to put in a roadmap and we don't have a roadmap yet for 2016 mm -hmm. it's on the so for the last two weeks we've been talking with everyone so what are we going to do what is the main problem what are features that we definitely have to bring what what about things like the guild battles which we po uh, postponed and postponed and postponed mm -hmm. what are we going to do yeah um, so you have to understand that there are a bunch of features which are so huge, or at least they don't look that huge, but uh, they are kind of huge. And mm -hmm. then when we start working on them, we realize, oh wow, they're actually much more complicated than we thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, by this, it means that of course sometimes a lot of these features don't only remain on the shoulders of one team, yeah. but is the you know the, the how to say the seeming together like the, all the effort of different teams together. Yeah. That one has to do this, one has to do that. So sometimes even if a team finishes one thing and the other team is busy with other tasks which are maybe more urgent for whatever the reason, performance or other features, then of course the whole feature gets a little bit pushed back. Yeah. So, so we basically sat down and discussed the pain points such as PvP, mm -hmm. which was pain point number one by yeah, the way, it's from one all the departments. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and pain point number two, um, which is anything that con concerns guilds, which is not necessarily guild battles, but anything that concerns guilds. That would be how do guilds communicate, how do guilds, uh, you know, should they have specific user interface, uh, things like that. And the, these things they will be now dis they they were discussed and uh, prioritized and soon I think tomorrow we're meeting and having a little bit more discussion about mm -hmm. it and then towards the next month we will have something like a, a I want to say beta of a roadmap mm -hmm. so this is what we're doing at the moment and you are thinking why does it take so long well because they are they are big big features and then there are a bunch of other small features that we're like okay first 
we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe in between we can put this, but what about uh, that pain point that is still existing? So at the moment we're fashioning this, mm -hmm. and if you're gonna involve the entire team in it, it takes a while. Also, uh, consider we launched last last year also in in Korea, mm -hmm. which is you know no no big news. Uh, we did that, and it's kind of like when you have a newborn child. That's how I want to call it. Mm. You think it's going to be easy or it's going to be like that. But in the end, uh, it takes you longer than you expected to care for that child. Mm -hmm. Let's just say it that way. So that's pretty much done now. So now we can focus on, on this. That's Speaking it. of that, Haruki is going to tell you more about the first pain point which we discussed. Chapter number, uh, number one. Player versus player. The player versus player. Uh, well, actually, I was going to talk about another one. <laughs> ah, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Topic this is, is yours. This but is me. I can do that. Sorry, but I we have it. our notes and we know exactly what to say. But what I wanted to say is that it's true that Korea is, of course, there, you know, and of course, it's a version that they have their own features. Sometimes mm. uh, they have features which we don't have, like the autoplay, for example. Yeah. Because this is something that uh, they use a lot in the west, in the eastern markets, and they are very used to that. So, which means that sometimes some features, of course, they have to be developed. At the same time, we are developing our own version, and that's why you know we have this calendar collider, so anything. But our uh, job and our you know aim as community managers of this version of Dragon Sun is, of course, ensuring. And you know that your voices have been heard during this whole process, and that's why, yeah, both of us are present in the meetings, and then we are like, of course, taking what we see in the forums, what makes a lot of sense, and then transmitting directly. For example, PvP. <laughs> PvP, sorry, yeah, that is actually my thing. So about PvP, the b biggest pain point it was everybody agrees that this is uh, a terrain, I want to say, a field, an area which needs to be ad addressed, and it has been actually addressed. If you look at all the releases. There's always something that um, where PvP has been addressed. Some notice it, some don't notice it that, that much. But uh, I'll give you an example. We took away essences from PvP. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's something that is very visible. Then there are other things which are not so visible, which is, for example, uh, working on the formula, on matchmaking, and things like that. That being said, um, so we just sat down and we looked at things that we might want to include in there. For example, the Helios event, if you remember, it has a, a specific mode. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually just an event at the, mo at the moment, but we were thinking maybe it makes more sense to just put it permanently in there so you have a more modes. That's actually not really the pain point. The pain point uh, is people are being matched when they're some somebody's stronger than the other. You uh, see that all the member, like everybody is logged in, but it takes still forever to get matched, mm -hmm. uh, matchmaking. So this causes other people to say, maybe I want to switch sh servers because I'm too strong, and things like that. And we were thinking, what are possible ways to get rid of this or you know make it better? So for example, there's this one really cool mode called dueling. Yeah, actually we have already one versus one, mm -hmm. but it still takes too long. So instead, maybe having a direct way of challenging somebody would at least get rid of the the fact that um, okay I have to wait now 50 minutes before I get matched mm -hmm. so um, again that. again though if, if you think about it if you're being directly matched with somebody then maybe I want to say I only want to do duels with Haruki and that way I can, get, can go all the way up the ladder so before this can be implemented you need to have some sort of regulations as mm -hmm. in how often can you do that how can you do that uh, um, so yeah, so um, that these are things that we're discussing, but also other th other um, points like what kind of modes should PvP have, or what kind of significance should it have? Because at the moment, if you think about it, it doesn't really have a story that much. Well, it's only that the modes yeah. have been with us for a lot of years, yes. you know, and I guess that a lot of people convey or have the opinion that maybe we could actually, you know, yeah. offer new different modes, which are also very interesting, like Domination, mm -hmm. Last Man Standing or something like that. We also saw, we will come later to this, but from the Stellar Gold, we saw that you guys like the, the Skyfall Arena, arena yeah. which is this kind of wave, monster wave, you know, and everything. So, of course, it would make sense to implement new modes as well so we also did a huge kind of brainstorm of what things could be implemented in that way yeah mm -hmm. and um, now some people would would be saying why do you want to include this why are you thinking of that when you don't want to fix pvp we 
want to do this, but maybe it's possible through the you know through new modes. Mm -hmm. I'll take because that they, they would get rid of certain mechanics. Or at least parallel. And the, I, I want to jump here because yesterday I was answering in the Ask the CMs thread, and some people were asking. Well, I, I saw no, that a lot of people keep on talking about PvP because, of course, it's a big issue, especially after. Yeah, Rangers have received that little tweak and also the Steam Mechanicus. Uh, we are, by the way, reading all of this and passing the comments. And um, and yeah, the, the question is that uh, we approach the PvP guys here in the team. And the, when the uh, roadmap has been laid, you know, on the on the table, we will for sure uh, offer your, you know, you uh, like official statements made by them because yeah, we think that it's necessary that they also state what they want to do with PvP this year and what their milestones are for you guys to know. So expect that also in February, I guess, I don't know when, but we will really you know, push them and poke poke them <laughs> so we get that statement. Good. Mm -hmm. And That's obviously it. part of PvP is also guilt versus guilt, but exactly. we will, speaking of guilt versus guilt, it's actually also part of the guild features mm -hmm. and that's now it. we're coming to Haruki. Yeah, that's it so uh, the guild features so that is one thing that everyone understands about Dragon Sang Online Either, I mean you like to solo things well uh, you know you, you can also solo things but the best thing about this game is also play well in a group and play with your lovely friends and your colleagues and everything so we have certainly a social orientation with this game but of course we want to take it uh, further we want to make it more social. So we also have a brainstorm about different things that could benefit you guys from guild perspective and also social grouping everything perspective. But of course, there are different you know different ways you can do this. Either uh, you create well, you give more um, how to say administration rights to guilds because we have seen that this is also an issue that uh, well. The administration powers inside the guild are somehow. But there's a leader and there's an officer. That's yes, it. but uh, also some weird things can happen in between. So then, of course, we will re we, we want to review those things as well. Then another idea that pop out that I think it's quite interesting is the guild halls. So of course you have your guild, and uh, where can you actually meet your guildies apart from you know in the chat and everything? Well, maybe it would be nice to have a, like a you know communal space place. exactly where you can go you know with your guildmates and then of course it goes to the point where you could certainly uh, decorate your guild hall or, you know stick up some achievements made by the guild and everything and this of course would make a lot of sense if we implement you know uh, guild versus guild or this kind of pvp mode which would be 10 versus 10. so these are like a co you know different things that are going together um and uh, yeah, that's it. But the problem with, with guild halls, or also little things, for example, um, increment the number of guild mates inside a guild. So th there are like small features that we could do, or for example, implement the yeah, one dual one thing. But the, the majority of these things take a little bit of a time. It means that they, we, they are what we call the XL features, which take maybe, yeah, one or two releases to produce. So these are things that are being currently talked about. And then when we know exactly how the calendar is going to look like, we will give it to you. So we don't know at the moment if the big things like, you know, g uh, guild versus guild or the guild halls or anything will come in the beginning of the year or rather, you know, before June. Or if we have to wait a little bit after for these big things to happen. But in the meantime, we are already giving you, you know, extra administration, better chat, better social features. So yeah, that's also in the air. And I guess that in February, we will be able to tell you more what to expect exactly more or less when in the year. But that's it. But what we want is like to keep on pushing for guilds, you know. Not only PvP, because, um, well, some people will like to have, you know, a PvP, but also some people would like just to, to, to have, you know, to hang around with their guilds and then taking groups and everything. So we are improving guild, social and PvP kind of at the same way, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because, you know, there's guilds, but there's also groups. Mm -hmm. So um, That's it. And also, ah, and also buffs, or all the things that you could earn from belonging to a guild, different kinds of buffs. Also, okay, we have now the experience buff by grouping, which is great for players who are level, well, below 50. Yeah, but what about but what, happen, what happens 50 when already? you're level 50? So, of course, all of those things have been noted down, and as I say, we are trying to look at them and how to solve them and when to solve them, which would be ideal to have a, a date, but give us a little bit of time for that. Mm-hmm. That's it.
And uh, I guess, ah, yeah, and another thing <laughs> <laughs> that we're also searching. Okay, so we look at PVP, we look at guilds, and we are also looking at the content expansion. So now this is going to be an interesting thing because we talk about content expansion and in the Twitch session of December, we already gave you like a, how was how do you call it? Mood map? A mood map. A mood map that would settle a little bit the tone of the next content expansion. But in the course of these conversations that we are having here in the team, and believe us, they are quite long, we are discussing to which extent should we consider content expansion. Shall it be that big as uh, Lortag was? Because Lortag was massive, and mm -hmm. it brought also the skill system, which was kind of uh, in addition to it, you know? Content, yeah. like quests and everything, and items, plus the skill system. Yeah. And what we are thinking to do this time, also based on your opinion, is that we should maybe focus more on features yes. in the game, and then use this as a, in terms of second ground, bring content of maps, yeah. or something like that. So this is what we think it would make more sense for 2016 to actually get some features going, features requested by you, or features that we think you would benefit from, and of course at some kind of maps. Uh, also by content expansion, we would like to push for newer events. So events that, okay, some of them have familiar with you, like we already talked last, uh, last Twitch about um, <coughs> the invasion. Sorry. Uh, events mm -hmm. and other ones. So of course, bring them back, but also work on new content, new yeah. content that happens every month or that happens, uh, you know, in a number of times inside a yeah. year. But that's it. Mm -hmm. Basically, just to give you an example of what we mean uh, by putting the focus on features and not on uh, the content expansion. Let's imagine uh, the content expansion Lortec was the, you know, the the main protagonist, mm -hmm. and then the skill system was. The supporting act, exactly, the supporting <laughs> kind actor. of like that. So second place, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now we want to do it. The, we're thinking, at least at the moment, of discussing. Uh, we the main act should be the features, mm -hmm. and underlining like second support act should be the content expansion. Exactly. Yeah. So it's you know it sounds. It doesn't sound too significant, but it actually is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so exactly, and we are we are thinking when we talk about content in terms of features, we are talking here about adding, you know, what you guys have requested. So of course, crafting. Well, crafting is coming anyway, but soon. <laughs> but you know, uh, crafting the hard locking feature, um, the spirit stones, or the transmogrification, which we will talk later on. Um, so we are talking about those things, of course, mm. but uh, we are also talking about, for example, um, you know, professions or, uh, you know, like we were talking about fishing, about alchemy, you know, yeah. so you guys can subscribe to different professions, so to speak. Yeah. So create meta content that you guys can also work with. Yeah, you know? but that's, again, that's not final. You, you might remember that we had some sort of design for alchemy system, but mm -hmm. out of that, I don't know, they put it back mm -hmm. and we were thinking, okay, what is it actually? When would you use alchemy? At some point they were like, maybe we should put, put this as a feature for the new class. And then the idea shifted into, well, it sounds kind of like a profession mm -hmm. or maybe it's an, a, a system on its own. We don't know yet. But basically what we did in the, la in the last weeks were discussing these things mm -hmm. and what does everybody think? So everybody gave ideas. They put it on, on the whiteboard mm -hmm. and, um, Things which are already have been have are ready designed and are ready to be programmed, such yeah. as for example the essence toggle or the hot locking, mm -hmm. where you you know freeze your uh, your user interface, uh, they will fall into that somewhere too. When yeah. and how we don't know yet. We mm -hmm. will know soon. But basically, just so you know that if you ask yourself, what have you guys been doing these weeks? This is what we've been doing. Yeah, that's and, it. And uh, it's better to discuss discuss these things right away, and you know thoroughly rather than to just pu uh, publish things and publish mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm. so true, true that. And, and of course we didn't mention anything but the new class, mm -hmm. it's something that pop out quite a lot of times yeah. during, and it also goes inside the content I would say, so yeah, look forward for that. The, uh, the other reason why we talked about all these things, that includes also account migration mm -hmm. and uh, things like inspection and all these kinds of things, mm -hmm. uh, or for example, a separate u um, user interface or separate inventory for uh, mounts. Exactly. Or Peop some people mentioned uh, things like housing, so that your character should be able to have a certain property somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then you're thinking, okay, if a character has a certain property, then uh, maybe he has some stalls where you can put mounts or something. And then uh, somebody else uh, said, oh, you know what? Maybe an inventory is better than this. And 
in what we try to try to do is how can we uh, combine certain ideas mm -hmm. yeah so to give you an example there is a design for an account migration but then again why would we need an account migration if for example a good pvp mode gets rid of of the problem that people are not being matched just to give you an idea if we realize okay this is not happening then maybe we need an account migra mm -hmm. migration that's what we're trying to see we're trying to put the cards you know smartly mm -hmm. this is what we're discussing at the moment anyhow so um this is basically the cl the conclusion this is basically the conclusion and to wrap it up uh, yeah we will keep on talking about those topics now we just vomited all of those on, the, on your face and we are sorry about that uh, <laughs> but we think it was it was necessary yeah um to just assure you guys that of course we are priority sizing and we are prioritizing in a way that we think it would benefit you guys because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. And so we hope that you are you know, looking forward for those things and then you keep up uh, engaged with us and receive those things. So yeah, when we have more information, we will tell you even more and more and more. I, I love the comment of, of Egan. Oh, what yeah, the no. f when I mentioned housing, what the fuck? This is not Sims. <laughs> <laughs> no, of yeah. course it isn't, but... Uh, you have to think of it in a different way, like um, what can you do in Dragon Sang Online that you cannot do anywhere else? We're not telling you to, to make sims, but it's Hold just on. ideas, yeah? <laughs> it's just really ideas. It doesn't mean we're, we're, we're uh, becoming Sim City or The Sims, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we were just transporting you our brainstorming session, but of course we know exactly what we have to do first, and I think everyone agrees. <laughs> and the point is when this will happen, and that's another question. And Demo Alexis 7, because I'm in a Turkish server and I'm not Turkish, well, <laughs> you, you need a server change. I mean, you could still d create another account, but I understand that too, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's get uh, let's go to uh, Mademoiselle Stella Go. And by the way, I just wanted to say, you see these things that are here but because we didn't mention, but up here on Facebook, these are the winners of our lovely um, New Year's car. So there will be a little bit around here on my, you know, on my face. Oh, I like my, that. On my head. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyhow, uh, enough. Fun. Be careful, man. Okay. Um, let's get down to business. I think we should start. So you guys. Well, let's start with the feedback. Yes, let's feedback is good. Good. So, as you know, we have this um, formerly lovely event called Stellar Gold, mm -hmm. and uh, there were, have been a bunch of editions where you could re uh, win a real uh, cash. Then there were pr uh, editions where you could win things from a certain uh, computer brand, mm -hmm. yeah, which I'm not gonna name now. And mm, this time there was another edition of Stellar Gold slightly different uh, which brought to you the as you pictured over there the, the skyfall arena which you guys really enjoyed except mm -hmm. for the fact that you didn't get any drop there mm -hmm. so we were thinking you know there's uh, a similar arena like this which is the the battlefield uh, in, in uh, castle ravenclaw of Dra uh, dragons e event mm -hmm. so where you actually get dropped so we were thinking okay Maybe it's even it's better if you get some drop over over there at least while you're collecting Stella Gold. Uh, at the same time, you know, bring a little bit more variety into the waves. And um, also, what we're thinking is, you're right. Um, why should you play this entire event when in the end you don't even know whether you will get something? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. m we're thinking, um, at least from our perspective, yeah, this is the improvements that we will uh, give you hand in is that there should be some sort of progress bar that you at least get something mm -hmm. for doing what you do that's it yeah because or at least something that you could do with your stellar gold mm -hmm. because uh you oh, what was that stop <laughs> throwing little paws man yes Jesus. give me give me a little pause um what we mean by this is that at the moment like we uh, haruki and i we believe that uh you shouldn't be able to purchase stellar gold the tickets with undermanned uh, we think that maybe uh, some sort of gameplay around would be nicer, for example, to um, to allow you to exchange stellar gold for buffs that in, in you know enhance and improve the the drop rate of, of stellar gold, such as the pancakes mm -hmm. th that you have, you know. So you could think, am I should I invest ten stellar gold into purchasing two pancakes in order to get twenty minutes of more? Uh, uh, of more uh, better drop quality things like that something this is 
that makes more fun mm-hmm. you know, other than I'm gonna uh, purchase them or at least that gives you more possibilities to say yeah. okay what do I want to do I really want to do for the lottery which because the lottery is on top it's a nice thing but yeah I, we can totally understand the, the frustration here uh, another thing that a lot of people have complained and this actually is something that um, has to do well the deals also with uh, other events and I guess that this will come up a little bit uh, with future events is the realm fragments issue Mm. So realm fragments are based at the drop of these items are based on luck. So it could happen that you just run inside a map and then you're just you're just very lucky and then you get a lot of them. But sometimes it could be that just luck is not on your side and there is no way you're gonna get realm fragments as yeah. much as maybe in a previous run that you had. So um, this is something we are also conveying to the uh, event uh, designers. The fact that well you have to pay ten round fragments no? to get into the Skyfall Arena, which yeah, maybe could be lowered down a little bit, especially bearing in mind that Defeat the Undefeatables is happening, well, now. happening right now, and you also need real fragments to exchange for the maps to the circus. So yes, and another topic was the uh, drop rate of the shooting stars. Mm. The, the fact that you would get the lucky coins, you know, there were these little things that would appear from worthy opponents and you click on them, shooting startup happen, you know, appears there. What do you get? You get either stellar gold or most likely you, you would get other things. And one of the complaints was that the drop of this, you know, stellar gold inside the shooting star was also very low. So yeah, we are taking all of that into consideration and passing it. Next week we have a meeting mm. with the team and we will make sure to convey all of those things. Yeah, mm-hmm. and as some people ask the question whether they should keep the maps, the you know the entrances to sky, the Skyfall Arena, keep them for now because yeah. originally this this event is uh, designed to run more frequently. Mm-hmm. But to be honest w- uh, with you, we feel like it needs some tuning up <laughs> to and some improvement tune up. before we can actually uh, run run this again, according also to your feedback. True that. So, True that. So. Yeah. That was it. There is a user in the chat asking whether um, if he sends a mail he would be considered for the Twitch raffle of this time. No. So you will be considered for the next one because for we just select the winners just before starting. So yes. 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 The next one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But That's it. So let's, speaking of winners, mm-hmm. uh, it is time to come to the winners of Stella Gold, which, which we freshly drew. Yes, uh, just before. I think around I think what? quarter past twelve. <laughs> yeah, we did that. And it was it was quick and dirty. Quick so, and dirty. Uh, as you know, there are fifty, actually fifty-one prices. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, so prices four to fifty are the following: mm-hmm. two hundred fifty Draken and uh, the Mighty Spirit Guard. Um, these prices, the winners, will be announced in the forum. I will send a, a specific message later on after mm-hmm. this uh, Twitch, and you can see you will see your user ID over there. Or you know you might as well just play because next week there will be a script, mm-hmm. and you will get your prize. That's it. Mm-hmm. So That's, if yeah. you receive these things out of nothing, remember that um, you play the yeah. Stellar Goal event, and that uh, one of those prizes is yours. Exactly. And that goes per server. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Per, per now, let's come to the third prize. Third prize. So these lovely winners, you know, uh, they're going to get that lovely emote of the third prize, then a little gem bag with some lovely gems, a ruby, uh, 50 lockpicks, and 500 okay. draken. Exactly. And the chosen ones are? The chosen ones are? ta okay. okay, I cannot read exactly what countries will, of these I'll people. I'll do the first ones and you, you'll, okay. you'll come to the next. So on here do we have Tank OP or Tank Op from Tank op. Germany. Grimmark we have uh, Valkyria 61 from Russia. And on Balor we have Kampfdrohne from Germany as well. Exactly. And uh, in a little less than, I want to say 10 seconds, you <laughs> will... You will have them or you still don't have no, them? No, no, I have them here. Ah, okay. That's so right. from yeah. Tegan, we have Darkman. From Agason, we have Master Guni. And from Varian, did you say Varian? No. Renovatio 07. Lovely agent. So congratulations to you guys. Uh, those things ha- will arrive just after this Twitch. Exactly. So, yeah. And your names nice. will be also in the forum, so don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. just uh, don't panic. You will get these prizes right after this Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right after. Handpicked by me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then the, s- the winner of the second prize. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, these people. Which is, which is uh, yeah, the, the, 
the emote for the second, you know, for the runner-up. Mm -hmm. Then uh, jump back and uh, polished ruby, and uh, hundred love picks and a thousand draken, mm -hmm. a thousand draken. The winners go to. There you go. Yes. Okay, we have here some very very uh, weird names that I'm, I'm not even trying Should to. Should I pronounce. try the first one to do to the last? Yes. One? Okay. Yes. So Heradur is from Dugen, from Greece. Mm -hmm. and Grimak is from Russia, and the name I'm gonna try is Paromechanist or something. You yes. drive. And then Valor is uh, Peo from Brazil. That's it. And then I have the easier ones. So Tegan, Hero, Agathon, Xarumanx, yes. and Verian Labellator. Yes, Xarumanx from I like your name. Labellator. Hero and Labellator, both from Turkey. That's it. Good. So and now for the first one. Congratulations. Now we get to the juicy one. So yes, <laughs> what are you laughing about? I'm laughing because uh, one of the winners has been announced here since so many times. Oh. So, so many times. Okay, so that was so. Cool. And, and a lot of people are saying how many how many stellar gold, how many stellar gold? Where well, we are not gonna share that you know the quantity of people I mean how many how many stellar gold everyone had, but we can totally tell you this was a lottery. Yeah. There was people with Two digit stellar goal in you their could, inventory, yeah. and there was people with four digit stellar goal in the inventory. There, so, uh, yeah, complete luck. Yeah, telling you, <laughs> complete luck. You. I mean, um, I can open the list afterwards and just give you a few numbers. I'm not gonna say who, mm -hmm. but you know, I, okay. can, I can give you that. It's a lottery. It's based on uh, okay, now. all on that. So, so the first place. These first place are gonna get an amazing black bear, which is very nice and lovely. Radiant ruby, first emote, two hundred lock two hundred fifty lockpicks, and two thousand dragon, which is quite a nice mm -hmm. quantity. And the winners are. The winners are. Ta da! So Herodo is Arthur Rich. No, Arthur Rich. Arthur from Rich. Germany. From Grimark, um, Imper Imperator from Russia. And Balor is Cosmos from Belarus. That's it. Yeah. And from Tegan we have Light Light Agami Paco. From Mexico. From Mexico, yay. <laughs> Enhorabuena. <laughs> uh, from Agazon we have Mago76. De Argentina. And de Argentina, también. Felicidades para ti. And, and last but not least. Romantic. Yes, from Now Turkey. you can stop you know, spamming the chat right now. Exactly. Thank you. So Romantic. congrats to you guys. Who congrats to Romantic. I guess that you are very famous right now. Yeah, apparently uh, <laughs> on half of Varian, the server of Varian is uh, celebrating their, uh, Romantic. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, congratulations to you guys. Well done. Well done. And you will again re receive these prizes right after this. So I guess That's before it. yeah before this day ends, you will you will get these prizes. And of course, we have you know the last but not least. Dun, dun, Definitely dun. not the least. Wait, let me have a look. Where do we have it? We have two winners of the long forgotten bone <laughs> dragon. <laughs> That's, That's a long forgotten name. Don't, don't you think that the, the, the name is way long? Long I know. forgotten bone dragon. They could have just, just said, you know, uh, Mortis buddy or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Little brother. It's okay. A few fa uh, um, a bit fact. Uh, sorry. A few facts about this uh, long forgotten bone dragon. First of all, longest name that there is, and it's the first and only mythical mount mm -hmm. in Dragon Sang Online. That's this it. means it has a speed like no other mount there is on. And you can totally see this beast coming. Yes. So these two people are going to be very noticeable yes, every now and then. That's, that's correct. <laughs> and the, I can tell you right now that the. The people who won this, there's one person who won this. This person has uh, not a lot of Stella Gold tickets. Really, not a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, really, really based on luck. Let's just say. And this person is from the server of Herador. Mm -hmm. And then the other person is a very, very, very famous f uh, person who won. Uh, yeah. that on server Balor. And I see also... And that person has the most stellar gold tickets. Mm -hmm. Because we That's were, it. as we said in the guidelines, there will be one person who wins it based on luck and the other person based on, you know, the number of stellar gold tickets. Mm -hmm. with, uh, no, it's not Spieletrend. Uh, no, so it's Spieletrend not. is not. Uh, it's also Schilling. not Spartacus. Yeah. It's also not Romantic. So no, Romantic won already. Uh, 
<laughs> so, the winners of the long forgotten bone dragon are. Ta da! From Heredua, it's Matt Bolo. Matt Italy. Bolo. He's from Italy, yeah. And from Valor, it is Daywaker 2. Which everyone is just screaming now on the, yes. um, on the chat. And believe me, there is no better example of probability other than this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, especially the winner from Italy. I mean, I looked at... Uh, You're a very lucky fella. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is how lottery goes. I'm sure some people are a little bit disappointed uh, as I remember, you know, re I, my, my English goes to hell right now. Uh, we are reminding you yeah. that uh, we will rerun this event. We wanted to do it uh, on a monthly, my month, my bi monthly basis, but of course we won't do anything until we have reworked it yeah. with the suggestions that we gave us. But if you're not in this list, well, don't worry. Check the forums because soon you will see the list of the other winners per server and see us in the next uh, Stellar Gold. The improved version. Exactly. And a few, I see a few questions there. So yes, Norek12 says, Grimak, winners only from Russia. That's because predominantly Russian players are on that server. Exactly. Not exclusively, but predominantly. Mm -hmm. The same goes for uh, you know some other servers which are hosting many players from the Americas. Exactly. So um, mm -hmm. it, it happens like this. And as for, um, who else do we have over there? Well, Daywaker is with us in the chat anyway, so hopefully you like what you will get your mount uh, soon. It's um, one thing we have to say: what we only see is we only see the IDs. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when we select, when we see the IDs, we selected the names just so you know we can make this li nice little presentation. And when we saw it, we were like, "Wow!" <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, I said uh, I, this. This name I remember. This guy from the forums. It's yeah, yeah. So that so was yeah. well done. Mm -hmm. Congrats. Well done. Well done. And now we will come. Yes, we will. Pour, we will post this anything on the anyway um, in the forums. Give it some time. I think tonight, uh, tonight they will be on the for uh, in the forums. Mm -hmm. But let's come to something else. Yeah, now before that the we bonus are. code and the and the raffle, and we'll come to question and answer, and you can see us much more clearly. Clear. Yes, room. So no, we're getting close to you guys. We have not many questions over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we will take questions from the from the chat. Exactly. So prepare your. Uh, if possible, don't ask how many stellar gold tickets the people had. But Daywaker says it already. He has <laughs> this. Yeah. So uh, you mentioned. Ah, there you are. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Now imagine the person who won without without that. He has by far much l less than Daywaker. Mm. Not only this, he's one of the people. Out of all the winners who were in the first to third place, he has like he has so few. He has so so few. So it's very very much based on, on luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True that. Okay. So but let's jump into question and answers. Question numero uno. Yeah, no, so no. What about the upgradable capes that we can see already in the game? What's going on with them? Well, um, that they're not supposed to be the. <laughs> well. They were supposed to be in the game, but not uh, at this stage. And the values that you see there, they will be reworked. Yeah. yeah? So uh, don't worry about them. And in general, there will be more cloaks in future. Exactly. Hopefully, this time they'll be uh, with the uh, exact well, like with the correct values, and not the ones which you have at the moment. So if you have a cloak at the, uh, at the moment, and you and you see that other pl players who you know do the quest cloak of power, for example, get mm -hmm. a better one. Yeah. Uh, Just don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't It'll worry. Fixed. And this only aff uh, affects the um, the Veteran quest yeah. uh, cloaks, not the rest of the quest that you, uh, the cloaks that you can get in the game. So don't worry. Yeah. So yeah, that was Next a little one. slip, but that's it. Okay. Um, we did also didn't talk about the knob during this particular Twitch, but now this is a good question about it. Um, okay. So knob came. Lots of you liked the fact that it comes with. Oh, it came with. Uh, um, uh, dragon egg set and you know the bonus and everything but of course some of you were a little bit disappointed that it didn't have more pets or especially and I think this is a very interesting wish that it didn't have costumes so we also set you know this we sent it to to the other side of the of the, of the corridor to the other room and they are taking this into consideration so as we already told you a lot of times Nob is coming way more often this year than it used to come last year and it would definitely bring new content costumes included so 
look forward for it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, speaking again about Mr. Gronk um, and talking about him, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be bringing an upgradable stone for the Dragon Egg set uh, to get you know better stats as the ones um, that the set has at the moment. We received even some um, some mails <laughs> from some of our uh, admins that they are not unsatisfied with uh, the set itself. And yes, we talked about before the possibility of having an upgrade like a stone that upgrades it. And Originally, that was also the plan. For some reason, though, it has not been implemented yet. But yeah, that will be considered and it will be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, parallel worlds. Let's speak about parallel worlds. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the two questions together sure. because they are about parallel worlds. The first one is about yeah, when comes you know an essence buff merchant to Cardoon. Mm. Now I want to bring you know a little parenthesis and talk about, okay, this also comes into the topic of parallel world feedback and improvements. If you remember, on the forums we put a thread, which was, okay, let us know what you think about parallel worlds. And we have distinguished very specific points of complaint related to the difficulty, you know, how difficult the, the different modes feel for you, uh, you know, the mods, I mean the mobs, not the mods, <laughs> the mobs, the, the bosses, the champions, like every, you know, every enemy. Um, the droop, uh, the loot quality, I mean, how good those items are for you, uh, how often do they drop uh, from the different fights, and um, then of course a lot about, uh, well, yeah, these little things, um, you know, about I uh, items and also buffs. So yeah, we are looking into this, and I guess that we are bringing some, I don't know, essences, but definitely buffs, mm -hmm. because they used to be in the past, in the... Uh, watery grave they used to have some buffs so I guess that we will bring them back which also brings me to the fact that uh, now if you purchase a teleport item to a Berach to the Berach you know map um, you won't see the Berach set in the you know in the window of the different uh, rewards yeah and this is just a display bug that will be corrected with release 161 because actually they are dropping those items it's only that they don't appear on the screen but don't worry if you want to go for that set just go in and you can get it yeah. that's it so yeah a lot of parallel world rework coming but again we will wait till we have more info to tell you specifically what is coming next question mm -hmm. is about premium are there plans for premium that play players can let it rest for a while or pause it while they're on holidays or when they are sick well, this would be a, an amazing th thing to do, obviously, and, and let's just say it that way, no. <laughs> no. Don't, there are no plans to do that. Why? Because it's a sub some of, depending uh, what you chose, uh, it's a subscription. And many of, as with many subscriptions, I'll take for example your, um, you know, internet provider, uh, you can pause it, but you need to do that in advance, which means you cancel it, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so if you know, for example, that you're going on a huge holiday for a year or for a half a year or traveling around the world or something, you could do that, yeah? But um, if you were to, every time you were sick or something, if you're severely sick, you can cancel it as well, you know? But we are not planning something which is like a, oh, you know what, I'm sick for three days, I'm gonna pause it now. That's, I don't think any, not many subscriptions in, in this country would do that. <laughs> So, uh, no. Yeah, there is one uh, one person asking, what are the shadows in the bag, Greg? The shadow? And I'm trying to think, what do you refer by shadows? I don't see any shadow. You know, it's not good to eat mushrooms, which are <laughs> not classified. <laughs> I guess he refers to the, to the little drawing behind you, which is some kind of internal jokes that we have with QA, and some of the questions they receive on the test server. Shadows? Right. I think he refers to the little Jampiti man. But um, let's go back to, to some of the questions. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, well, since yeah, you, you took the question about Cardoon already, so um, what is the current state um, of features such as the transmogrification mm -hmm. uh, feature and server migration? There is none. There is like the transmogrification, I think there was a design for, for it, as in how it should work, and people people in the team liked it. The same goes for the server migration. But they've been all put on hold. Why? Because um, there is no specific roadmap for that. As we mentioned before, we will be <coughs> looking into how to bring these features in there. Or, in the, as I said, in the, um, in the case of the server, server migration, will it be necessary? Won't it be necessary? It needs to be evaluated. And it will be evaluated with a roadmap. Mm -hmm. And 
we are just the community manager, so all we can do is basically just put on uh, feedback and um, give our op opinions about them mm -hmm. as to what it makes sense. But in the end, you know, these decisions are being made on a much higher level. Mm -hmm. So um, true that. Yeah, that doesn't mean that we can't can't do anything, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. True that. Uh, one of the questions. It's about the Jadax hand. We already, I think we always answer this one. Just throw it. Just throw toss that it. Jadax. Toss it. Like, toss it. Boom. Sell it. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah. It, it doesn't have any use anymore. So, out. Uh, another one, expansion, level 55, 60. Again, I guess that you haven't been watching maybe the whole Twitch. Sorry. We were talking about what content expansion means for this year. Uh, so we still are, are unsure if it will entail you know, going to level 60, going to level 55, we still have to decide what we do there. So more information coming in the next weeks. Yeah, because the content expansion doesn't always mean that you will uh, increase the level. It doesn't always mean that. Sometimes it means only that, um, you know, there's a, a different class mm -hmm. or a, there are new, new maps or there's new features. Mm -hmm. There yeah. are new features, uh, I mean, and I read also a few times that some people don't like to have a level cap. Yeah, think about it. The level cap sometimes also means that you get new new skills. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, it depends. There needs to be some progress because expansion always means there's more. So we'll see what it's go uh, going to be. On the other hand, if we increase the level cap, that also means a lot of balancing mm -hmm. and a lot of mistakes are happen also uh, happening also with items because of the um, uh, increase of le level cap so new enchantments new um, um, you know new curves of strength of power and some people well feel like if we don't do that and stick to what we have but then just increase um, make the mechanics more solid that it will be nicer so mm -hmm. we'll see mm -hmm. but one thing is for sure um, there's a lot in the talk, like there's a lot happening at, at the moment. So January has been a very, very discussion full month. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a, a question that I'm saying, what do you think about a healer support class? In my personal answer, and I guess the answer of a lot of people, since we definitely don't want to implement a healer inside this game is that it doesn't it's not necessary, I would say. Guild Wars used to have a healer, like, mm -hmm. uh, and they took it out. I mean, it was a, uh, and a lot of our other games have uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have a healer class. But I feel like it depends what you, That's as it. an action action RPG, it's not really. It's mostly for, you know, uh, if you're really just a supporter class, how are you gonna kill things? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just to say, which means, on the other hand, you could see if if this game is supposed to become more social and much more focused on groups, then yeah, then it would make sense. But I think, I'm pretty sure, it, uh, uh, one thing that I really liked from one of our departments that they said is um, unlocking group bonuses, such as, just you know, off the top of my head, imagine, so I'm a Dragon Knight, Haruki is a Ranger, and then there's uh, two other people. Every class has a certain specific skill, and a combination of, of, of people, when they are in a group, they will unlock a certain buff. So that's already like some, some sort of aura. For example, mm -hmm. the mage class could could have so, um, <coughs> a buff that increases the ratio of or the percentage of um, resource that, that you have, whereas the dragon knight could have that for uh, healing points, something like that. And then in the end, you, you don't really necessarily need a protector or some sort of buffer mm -hmm. class. Yeah, uh, the questions, uh, the 6,000 belt, the 6,000 gold belt is, is, I don't know where this item is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not It's not appearing anytime soon, they have to tweak it and mm -hmm. that appear I think as um, on test server, which doesn't mean that it's gonna make it, I th it's gonna make it eventually, but with different stats and with different value and of course we will let you know, so yeah. Of course, we will also implement new items every now and then with different um, uh, releases, so stay tuned for that. Also, some people were talking about giving a crossbow to our, uh, to rangers. Yeah, And I heard that. Uh, for the moment, I don't think that's going to happen, but someone somewhere the in the other room mentioned that maybe it would be an interesting weapon for the new class, which, yeah, why not? So, so yeah, not crossbows for the moment in Dragon's Online, but... Yeah. Working on that. Another person called Slabutu. 
Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Slavutul2040 saying 000. I played Dragon Sun for five years and I never got the Mortis mask. Well, sorry about that. We also get reports every day of people getting the Mortis mask. So just keep on trying. It's, it's very unlucky that you didn't get it yet, but uh, just keep on trying. Uh, will there, the White Million One is asking, will there be a Dragon event to Easter? Um, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. He, Easter this time is very, very early. It's uh, the end of March, so 25th until 20, mm -hmm. 29th. Um, I've seen something else there scheduled mm -hmm. for that, yep. it, which is a uh, really nice event as well. Uh, probably as popular <laughs> as, as that. Oh, actually, I also saw a concept for, for uh, East, Easter, uh, which is also... I want to say yes, but I can't say because I only saw ideas. Yeah. One thing is for sure, there's um, um, our uh, very dearest uh, um, you know, colleague who's working in the content design, he's working very hard on bringing a very, very new event. Yeah, so we don't know whether the, how it's going to be realized or whatever, but it's a new one. And after that, there might be uh, an event that hasn't run in a long, long time. So when we have more more information about that, that would be great. Then because then we can be like, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm True that. Um, maybe two more questions, and then we give you the raffle winners and know. the bonus code, and then we. Yeah, I would say actually we can jump already to that. Unless I see a very Unless very spicy, sexy question. Yes. Uh, drop in, drop in. Yeah, people are like, Scott, please. Rashi 8 is a uh, question in German about camera um, uh, angles in, in the game. Well, you know, there's this program called the, that allows you to change the angle of your camera. Not really sure if it really provides you a benefit to um, get the game mechanics. Sometimes it actually doesn't. Uh, I noticed that with the mage when I'm playing. Hmm. It's, we can't do anything about it because we can't... Why? It's not really a super, super huge exploit that people do. That they just most people just use it to get a nice shot of the game somewhere. Um, and the range, Domi nine nine four one. The range of the turrets is not going to be decrease uh, increased anytime soon at the moment mm -hmm. because it has only been one release where this was intru introduced. Let's see how this develops and, and if it's too. Uh, you know, too severe in terms of too unfair, then probably will be changed back, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. mm. That's it. Someone talking about premium, yeah, I think uh, premium is also... Uh, save your alter petal. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't remember what did I say. Uh, yeah, you, you, you guys, ah yeah, premium, premium. So probably, <laughs> yes, probably Please this year we'll also bring like a new premium revamp for those premium users. I think that's also in the works, but we don't have any more information about it. Um. Good. I think this is pretty much it. What I see. Oh so well, far. the the turrets range of the steam mechanicals. I, I answer that. Oh, okay. okay. True. So. Um, cool. So I guess this is it. For and for what about race. Sargon? Mm. Sargon is gone. Um, what about is Sargon? Um, <laughs> look back to the screen that we showed you about stellar gold. The versus versus. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, just saying. And. Can the ch the character gender be for free? Ah, the the changing changing the character gender. Um, you know what we could do? We could do a bonus code about this. But the problem with this is uh, it's too too much of an impact. You know, they would kill us. Yeah, basically some speaking. Some people be like, oh, I want to have this name, but now it's taken and things like that. So um, one could do it. We could raffle it, for for example. Mm -hmm. At some some point. Actually, yeah, why not? But thanks for the idea. Yeah, thanks for so, the idea. Da, that, da, would da. So that would be we'll it. So now we go to That's uh, it. the raffle winners. Hey. I'll make this uh, quick, uh, sexy, and dirty. That's it. If you still have questions, you can always drop to your questions into Ask the CM's thread, which they are accumulating a lot of pages, but sometimes we go there and we answer. So <laughs> the winners, <laughs> the winners of uh, this times uh, this Twitch's raffle would be the following ones. Ta da! Yeah. So um, as you can see. The Alphonse from Balor, there's no number on, on uh, okay. how much the uh, undermined you will win, but be surprised. And uh, as for the rest, look at your names. Uh, these are the prices that you can get, including the Battleborer, 
the lovely, you know, little minion over, over there with uh, the little devil. Three different gemstones that you can exclusively get from the jesters. An emote, the fire uh, spitting emote, gilded covers, the loot, the guitar, and a special parrot that you can als also only get from us, yeah, the, the uh, sapphire parrot, mm -hmm. a panther, and a very useful um, you know, joker gemstone, I want to call it, mm -hmm. of enhancement. Yep. Good. And of course, uh, one week premium. And mm -hmm. last but not least, of course, the bonus code. The bonus it was code. quite a lot of time yeah. since we did this. So, the bonus code ready? will give you what you see on this picture. Which is keep it real. Keep it real. So keep, keep it, it real, real for this week. Push it, push it real, and keep it real. Yeah, it's you run and redeem it, and then you will get some lovely realm fragments yeah. for your account that you can either use in the defeat and defeatables, or if you don't like, you know, you don't feel like it, just save them. The you reason know, for yeah. full moon or new moon or whatever you want. Yep. The reason why we give you this one is because obviously this month has been. Uh, consuming a lot of uh, realm fragment heavy um, month, mm -hmm. let's just say it that way. So that's why we think we you deserve some back. So it's free, take it, and we really hope that even though the Stellar Gold event was not as much as you, you know, not as fun as you expected, mm -hmm. we still kind of managed to make you guys happy. And it's, it's, it's more than one fragment. You people, you people, go redeem it, see how many are there, <laughs> and then you will complain. Man, one fragment, one fragment. Okay. It's more than one fragment. Okay, now. And one thing I would like to do also before we finish, it's um, we said we were increasing the realm fragments drop rate in the game, and this is still happening. It's something that the um, content designers see as necessary. Um, but it won't probably, ha I mean, we need to talk to them, but maybe it doesn't happen with 161, as we said. Maybe it happens a little bit before, uh, later, because it's related to something related to uh, monsters, mm. and monster drops. And this, maybe, of course, you don't know it, but it takes uh, more time to do it. But it's definitely on their agenda, and yes, it's, it's going to happen, okay? So don't, don't lose your hope. It's happening. It's really happening. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank That's you guys it. for watching. Also, thanks to the admins for... You know, yes, helping thanks out. for the admin all the time uh, for you know holding the line when we are not here. And now get back to get into the Circus Monstrum because we're keeping you uh, away from exactly from it. Just get just get the little Medusa, second one. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. And I guess that we will see each other in the beginning of February, right? Yes. So then enjoy all the winners, enjoy, and the link will appear soon with all the other winners as well on the forums so check that one bye out bye. ciao ciao bye